Hey everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can take random numbers or have the transition from random numbers into the text you want. So I've used this in several montages in the past. A main example is in my Outcast montage. Here are some examples here where it just kind of shows random numbers generating the or transforming into the text I want. Originally I saw a tutorial for this long ago when I did this the first time, but I wanted to remake the tutorial and give it kind of a newer update. What you need to know before you begin is the exact final text you want. So for this example I'm going to use Hastings editing, like that's what I want it to become. And you need to know how many letters are in there and count spaces as a letter. So this has 15 letters in one space, so I'm gonna count it as 16 and just know it takes 16 basically spaces to spell out Hastings editing. And now because I know it takes 16, I'm gonna type in randomly 16 numbers. So it looks something like this. So I have these 16 numbers here and you can set it up how you want. And then from here we go into our text, animate, character offset. Now, this really depends on the frame rate you're going for, but this example here, I'm using 30 FPS. So what I'm gonna do is alt click on character offset down here and put time times, which is like this little key here, my frame rate so that every single frame, all these numbers will change. Some of these numbers kind of clash together as it's changing, you can see here. So we go down to character alignment and we're gonna change it to center and that helps it out a bit. Then we're gonna go back to text and go animate scale and we see that now we have two animators and animator two is our scale one. We're gonna change our scale down to zero and it'll hide everything here. We're gonna open up our range selector and we're gonna animate the start to end so it kind of builds itself. So right now it's zero and we move it so that a few frames later it builds up, usually around the same amount of frames that there are letters. So I'm gonna use 16 frames here. So each frame a new one builds. You'll see that there's like a scaling issue. It's like, there's like mini ones as it goes. To get rid of that, we go into advanced which is down here, find smoothness and change that to zero. So there's no smoothness. Now we're gonna close animator two and go back into animator one. We're gonna open our range selector for animator one here, and we're gonna add a, a start keyframe, and then we're gonna move 16 keyframes later, which is the amount of numbers, remember we have in here, and change it so it goes from these random numbers back to the original random numbers we typed in. So it goes from like the offset numbers to the original. And you can see here, it kind of builds itself like that from random to the original ones we typed. Now what we have to do is go frame by frame, basically changing the text, the keyframe of the text to what we want. So frame by frame, I'm gonna spell out Hastings editing so that it changes from the random number to the letters I want now. And this is what it looks like when it's done. I'll just speed it up here. You can see it builds itself. And what you could do if you didn't want to change it back to text, you could even just have it offset or go back into your offset like randomness and have it kind of debuild itself and take it away. These are examples here. Obviously in montages, I have these all tracked onto angle shots like these examples again here. I have the tutorial on tracking text. Um, I'll link it down in the description, but you can just combine these two together. So this is a simple effect, but it looks really cool and clean. It's like a modern uh, effect for your text and it's not too hard. So it's like a nice starting place and you can go from there and really um, build your scene around it or just have this to even just add to text because text on its own is very boring but adding stuff like this really helps it out so hopefully that's been helpful guys let me know if you have any requests in the description in the description in the comments i mean to say and i'll see you all next week for another tutorial see you guys